You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm there's fond of television. There's a TV right there. Fuck you on about, woman. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Oh, this is getting me nowhere. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Bitch, you've just been telling me you don't... Uh... I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? I'm gonna be fucking going up your ass here shortly. You don't fucking cooperate. God damn it. I'm trying to fucking... Go on, Madison. Here we go. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Ooh. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Well, shit. God damn it, fucking... Come on, Madison. Come on, Madison. There we go. The crane. No. Oh shit. Wrong button. The hummingbird. No. The dog. Yeah, let's make a dog. Let's make a sweet little pupper. Fuck, I use this arrow. That's annoying. This is fucking weird. My fingers are going such Oh, you such know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Hilarious. Um... Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Her memory is coming back. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. 
I know he'll bring me some. All right, so if I remember correctly. Go here. And then down here, yeah, there's some flowers. This one, it's this one, yes. Alright, got you some flowers. Fucking speak up. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. Oh, I'm sure that's not the case. Come on. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. All right. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. Uh, okay, if you insist. <gasps> oh, wowzers. Well, alright, better go follow that lead. Oh, she looks determined. <sighs> All right. Yep. Oh, yeah, this is the final trial. Sorry, I forgot where I was at for a moment. Yeah, I'm sure your back hurts off of leaping off that goddamn roof. Oh, come on, Ethan. I know you can walk a little faster than this. The last origami figure. The last trial. Yeah. This is probably the easiest of all the trials. Bottoms up. Looks like water, but fuck it. Bottoms up. Well, it obviously wasn't water. I've never known water to taste that bad. 
I've drank some fucking foul water in my lifetime, alright? Thank you. I'm still missing a few letters because I didn't kill the guy. Oh, really? It only gives you fucking ho. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it, honestly, because I was able to fucking... First time I played through this, I was able to figure out the address. Just based on location alone. It gives you, like, a list of addresses that line up with the letters you have. And I was, you know, just... Based on the circumstances, it's actually pretty easy to figure out where the fuck they're at. I'm nowhere, and I'm out of time. Damn fucking shitty letters from this fucking fucking address come on there's gotta be a way to do this the man has to take it the authorities are still looking for the interest of Mars the man identified is the horror guard What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. So you're given three. See, the thing is, you're go you gotta kind of assume it's like near a body of water, which is why I go to 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road here, because it's near a large body of water. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. And I don't know why my thought process when I first played this automatically thought, oh, it's got to be near a large body of water, right? But it is. I know I'm right. Like I said, I've played this game before. At least once. <laughs> I've played it twice, I think, before this. Maybe. Fuck, I don't even know. We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! Hmm. All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Eat shit, asshole. Blake. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole! I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Douche. 